Hey everybody, this is Hunter. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today I have a great bunkhouse fifth wheel for you. It is the 2021 Cedar Creek 377 BH. This thing is large and in charge, and I like the versatility that it offers. Not only is it decked out with a lot of sweet features, which I'll show you here in a second, but it also has this really cool, you know, bunk room with a loft above that you can convert to an office. So even though it is a bunkhouse model, you can use it for so much more. If it's just a couple, maybe use that bunk room as an office, you know, things of that nature, but you definitely have the sleeping space if you would like it for a small army. But I'm gonna go around on the inside today, show you living room, then back to the, work myself to the bedroom, then back around outside. And sorry, I took a two week hiatus. Your boy just had a brand new, beautiful baby girl added into our family. Uh, so I took two weeks off of making these to uh, take care of the family at home. But now I'm back in business. And if you guys are in the market, not only like and subscribe for me, but email me at hunter at the RV hunter. I would love the opportunity to earn your business. But again, 2021 Cedar Creek 377 BH. And before we start breaking down, opening up all the cabinets and everything, I'll give you a little quick little view of what we're about to see. But nice island kitchen model with plenty of seating here in this living room area. The kitchen area is awesome. Here's your little bunk room. You can make turn that into a bed. Also convert it to an office. We'll get a better look down here soon. There is the loft. And back here, you got your bedroom and your bathroom. So now that you see if this is something you want to stick around and watch, let's go ahead and start breaking some things down a little bit. So the first thing you're going to notice is when you walk in, you have this massive island kitchen and if you hear this solid surface countertop so if a piece happens to chip away or anything like that it is the same all throughout which is nice you got these roly-poly you know little uh, drying racks which i love these the cutting board feature is nice but i do like these more for a traditional kind of a drying rack in a place that's hard to uh you know dry your dishes you got that little doodad right there nice residential uh feature i believe Hit your dishes from all angles. And you're jam-packed with a whole bunch of storage. So you have four of these little pull-outs. One, two, three, and four. First one, you know, is for, uh, you know, your silverware. And then the following three are going to be kind of all the same there. And you'll see this. This is a soft close. So you notice how it doesn't slam. place for a brush and you have some storage here underneath where you can use this little trash can store any type of uh, you know cleaning supplies or maybe even just use it for a little extra storage so I love the island kitchen I love how it's wider than in years past the 2020 was about two inches shorter I believe it went to just about right here so it's nice to have this nice wide island kitchen just above the island kitchen you do have a nice ceiling fan and you got some lights with some accent lighting with whatever that box is called. But I like the I like the way that it looks. I think it gives it a nice residential finish to it. Kind of makes things feel a little bit more like home. You have your entertainment center. You got a nice fireplace right there. This thing goes up to 100 degrees. It's the fanciest form of a space heater you can get. You have some storage right in there. You have your nice IRV Technologies uh, speaker system. So you can control inside, outside, you know, hook up a, um, an aux cord right there. Five volt charge. That's your USB port. So you can charge something and you have an HDMI port. If you want to hook up a, um, like a DVD player speakers and a really nice size TV with some good storage up above. And if you guys want to see me do anything differently in these videos, this is a great time to drop a comment. I definitely want to get better as I go, so do not be shy. Now, you have the Insignia oven. You have storage on either side, which is like that, which I really like the way that pulls out. Just a nice way to utilize that nice deep space that is so often, you know, just lost. But this Insignia is the largest oven in the industry. You have your four stovetop burners solid surface countertops on either side 
And look at that oven. Cook a turkey in that bad boy. Toss a lasagna in there. Whatever you want to do, you are good to go and you got the room to do it. It's like an oven just like your house. You have the Insignia microwave. Whole bunch of different settings. Won't go into that too much. We all have microwaves at home. At least I hope so. There's a good look at that. And that right there has a lip so you can put something and things won't fall out. I do like how they use the actual wood you know, backing up there. I think that looks really nice. Show you a little view so you can kind of appreciate that a little bit. Then we'll move on over here to the refrigerator. This is an LG refrigerator. It's an all electric refrigerator. I believe it's 20 cubic feet. So it is absolutely massive. A couple pull out drawers right there and you got this one. I have the one I have in my house. I put my eggs in there. Two shelves for the freezer section. So you could quite literally pack an entire week's worth of groceries in here, no problem. You're traveling and you're good to go. So you're gonna notice all the slides on the Cedar Creek brand, brand, right now, brands, geez, oh, Pete's, I'm a little rusty at this, taking that two weeks off. The height on it, the head height, it's incredible. So, you know, I am six feet tall. And so I'd give this one well, just about seven feet, maybe six foot eight, something like that. But plenty of space. You don't have to worry about bonking your head like some of your smaller fifth wheels that you do. And it also has windows everywhere. So I set this up so that way you can see, you know, how the shades work. Obviously, you can have the shades all the way pulled up for a nice view on these tinted windows. Or, you know, you can have your day, your day shades or your night shades if you want to block out the sun. So you got that, that, or you know that right there. But that is a nice thing to have, you know, having those day and night shades. Block out nosy neighbors or just block out the sun. You got yourself a dinette right here. And this does, this camper does come with two additional chairs, you know, which you can, uh, you can expand this out. All you do is you lift up, then you pull this little leaflet out, and then you drop it back down. And there you got room, you know, for the extra two seats. So let me put that away here. And while I'm doing that, I'll show you a picture of this recliner. Oh, I don't know if I showed you. You have storage right here as well. So you do get a place to sneak some uh, couple extra things. All right. You got some really nice recliners right here. They're very comfortable. They are by Allure, which is a very popular RV brand. I've taken many naps in camper or in seats just like this. They are the quick recline, so you can lay down almost all the way without bumping that wall. There's not any space there, so it's nice to have that quick recline. So it just, man, my camera is going bonkers. It's nice to have that. So on this, you just pull a little tab. It's right here. Oh, it's one of those places. You pull the tab, you let the legs down. Oh no, this is electric. Wow. So the buttons are just right here. You also have a USB port right in between them. Two cup holders. And you got that as well. So right there, you got another set. This back couch right here will pull out, bump up almost against this island kitchen. Camera is going crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to play with it. But yeah, you got more windows here behind. You got two little click on and off lights right there. And you have plenty of storage. This storage is all connected. Goes all the way through. So you got there to the left or to the right and to the left. If my camera works with me. But yeah, plenty of storage, plenty of sleeping. And speaking of sleeping, that brings us to our bunk room area. Here, let's show you this real quick. And these are all little pullouts. So you got kind of the barn door where you can move, you know, slide that closed. Now this right here makes another little pullout bed. So you have a full bed that you can sleep right there. 
and you have a little working desk space. This is the view you get while you're chilling in here. So it's nice if you got some kids on a rainy day, you throw up a TV, maybe put some Fortnite on, some video games, a couple movies, and you're good to go. Even some adult guests, you know, you got plenty of room and it's not overly cramped, you know, for a, for a night or two. You also have the ability to put some hanging clothes in this absolutely massive, you know, little closet space in here. You also have some dresser areas. So you got two of those. You got some outlets here and some outlets there. You also have your cable hookups and some more outlets along with two USB ports. Camper's pretty styling. I definitely like it. So here's another little view here of the inside. And let's head on towards the back. So right here, you got your Firefly system. You can work all this from your cell phone. You just go ahead and download uh, Myra, I believe they call it. But it's the Firefly system. It's definitely an advanced you know, unit right here. You can control all your lights one click. You can also get into that, turn it off for different areas, you know, the kitchen accent. So if you don't want the accent lights on, you know, it's just nice and easy. Everything is easy on this. Your HVAC system, climate control. So you can do the living room a little bit cooler than the bedroom or vice versa. You get the drift there. And then all your slides are color coded. So you know what you're doing when you click what. You also have settings where you can check, you know, the mobile app, network diagnostics, make sure everything is looking good and doing right. I might make a separate video on that. So if you see something, maybe check inside the comments. Might put something there here someday. Up on top of the camper, you do have solar panels. So this is your solar charge, tells you where the battery is and what kind of voltage you're drawing. All right, you got the world's smallest staircase up to here. This is gonna be your loft. You have a fantastic fan right above so you can suck some of the air out and keep some circulation going. But it makes for some really good extra sleeping space or storage. I mean, you can put some totes back there and you guys would be good to go forever. You got the bathroom. Still good storage right there. So you can put all your, uh, well, you know what you're putting there. Good size sink. You got some storage here underneath. The shower is looking nice. Nothing too special. Nice little sunroof there. Storage for all your towels. Quite a bit of that, actually. And right here, you know, you can hang up whatever you want. And of course, you got yourself a porcelain throne. Now, back here in the bedroom. I love this bedroom setup. You know, you have a really, really massive closet. Let me show you that first. You do have the ability to put in a washer and dryer in here if you would like. You got your satellite, your, you know, your king antenna, but plenty of storage space. You know, you can hang clothes on this nice rack fold up do what you got to do there all of these have a lip on them so stuff won't fall off and you got your little cubby holes over there right here is the water area you know if you want to hook up that washer and dryer and right here you have the dryer vent hole side of cap remove cabinet so you remove the cabinet and put your uh, your dryer vent right there you have a cadet wall heater nice little tv with a nice little window some outlets and you got yourself a nice little dresser so there's four of those bad boys all right and the bed you have outlets on either side you also have usbs inside on either side which is nice i love the backsplash it looks really nice i think you know pretty slick design and there underneath you have plenty of storage those are those two extra chairs for that dinette that I was telling you about. So that about wraps it up on the inside. If you have stuck around this long, I appreciate you. Make sure to like and subscribe. And again, my email is hunter at the rvhunter.com. But let's head outside. 
All right, so again, this is the 2021 Cedar Creek 377BH. And I think the outside just looks fantastic. I love how they went to this light, bright exterior. And it comes chock full, you know, with a bunch of awesome features. For one, this awning is absolutely massive. There's few that are going to be as large as this. You also have good lighting with that LED strip. You get your tinted windows, which you can see, you know, it's pretty difficult to see in there. Marine grade outside speakers, and that is one of the four, one of the four uh, cameras. So you got one on this side, one on the other, one above the door, and one in the rear. And as I go around, I'll point those out. Nice pass through storage. And if you ever need to do any maintenance, you know, right here, when you take this off, you have your nice paneling right there, which makes service a breeze. Definitely makes things a little bit less of a headache for you. Now this is gonna be your little outdoor kitchen area. I didn't put the griddle on, but you put it right here onto this tray. And when you're done with it, fold that up, lift it up and swing it in. But I didn't wanna block this little exterior refrigerator so put some brewskis out there and you're ready to roll that's the hose for your quick connect which is right under there where you hook that griddle up to the propane your road vac i forgot to show you inside but it does come with a central vac you have your nice step above steps so you fold those right into the doorway they're just a nice sturdier feel you know to your entry steps it's not those three flimsy you know metal ones right here is the door let me block that. That's that camera for the door. So uh, yeah, see who's coming up on your stuff. This customer opted to put on the awning toppers, which are always nice. If you get them from the manufacturer, they are much cheaper. If you do them after the fact, they're about $700 a piece. So when you come to the back of this Cedar Creek, you're going to notice a couple things one you got a nice ladder which a lot of brands are going away from why i have no idea apparently they're hard to get with all this uh covid crapola but yeah this one does have it so you can get on top check all your seals do all your maintenance as you can see this thing is nice and tall so without a ladder it makes life a little bit more difficult you have a receiver which you can go ahead and put some bike racks maybe a travel rack you know whatever you want to do with that you are ready to roll and right there you have your, your backup camera, your observation camera. So while you're driving down the road, you get a seven inch screen. So that way you can see what is going on behind you. Now, as we go around on the driver's side, it gets a little bit cramped, but you're gonna see one, two, three slides, all of them with these slide toppers. So you got one central station, so that way you can control everything. You have all of your hydraulic room control, so if you, uh, you know, need to cut off the bed slide, for instance, you turn that one off and you're ready to roll. You also have all your black tank, gray tank, pull tabs, you know, right above. Everything in one area, and if you haven't had a camper before, you don't know how awesome that is. Your easy reel, if you want to go ahead and roll up your power cord there, that's nice to have. And check this out nice thick doors right there these are kind of the slam latch doors so you can close those and not be worried about anything electric auto leveling so one click of a button this bad boy will level itself you can also save you know different settings for like hitch height and stuff like that you got your rhino box and right here is the beautiful front end once again my name is hunter i thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe this was the 2021 Cedar Creek 377BH, and have a great day. Bye.